Did you know there are two methods of radiation treatment for breast cancer? So in this video, I will be explaining how these radiation therapies work. I'm Dr. Teo Meishi, a breast cancer surgeon. Radiation therapy is one of the breast cancer treatment that is used after surgery to reduce the recurrence of breast cancer. It is a necessary treatment for patients who wishes to undergo lumpectomy, which is to only remove the lump from the breast instead of removing the whole breast. During lumpectomy or breast conserving surgery, the cancer lump with a rim of surrounding healthy breast tissue is removed, leaving the rest of the normal breast intact. There are two types of radiation therapy for breast cancer. External beam radiotherapy, which is the conventional radiation treatment and intraoperative radiotherapy, otherwise known as IORT. External beam radiotherapy is the most common type of radiation treatment for women with breast cancer. It uses radiotherapy beam that is coming from an external source called the Linear Accelerator Machine to radiate over the whole breast at a low dose for about 15 to 20 sessions. Then another 5 sessions will be given to the area where the lump was initially removed. Now each session takes about 5 minutes and this is carried out daily over 3 to 5 weeks as an outpatient treatment. Now the potential side effects are swelling in the breast, and skin changes which are similar to sunburn-like effect like skin redness, skin peeling and skin discoloration. Another new advanced form of radiotherapy is called the intraoperative radiotherapy. So this is a radiation probe and we will insert the radiation probe into the breast. We can move it around in any angle. The radiation therapy is given immediately after the surgeon has removed the lump while the patient is still under general anesthesia. After the tumour is removed, the radiation probe is placed into the cavity and a targeted dose of radiation therapy is then delivered into the tumour bed and this is to reduce the chance of cancer recurrence. The duration of radiotherapy ranges between 30 to 40 minutes. After the radiation is completed, the device is then removed and the wound is closed up. The procedure is performed by the cancer surgeon together with the radiation oncologist and the radiation physicist who will then calculate the optimum dose that is given to the patient. Now, one important benefit of intraoperative radiotherapy is the convenience that it can be given as a single dose therapy at the time of surgery compared to external beam radiotherapy where repeated visits are required to complete the treatment. Only a selected group of breast cancer cases are eligible where a list of criteria is used to determine if the procedure is suitable for you. The side effects from IORT are also reduced as the radiation is targeted within the tumour bed inside the breast. Hence, the area treated is much smaller and this spares the other normal breast tissue. Therefore, do speak and discuss with your cancer surgeon and radiation oncologist to see if this treatment is suitable for you and if you are eligible for it. Breast cancer awareness is important for early detection and higher survival rate.